What's up, guys? What's up? What's up? All right, guys. We're on a new permission. It's all about... Dun, dun, dun. Where is he? There he is. Mr. Mr. Mason. Say, what's up, man? What's up? Yeah, I'm glad you didn't say, what's up, man? <laughs> all right, guys. We're going to get to it. New permission. We got ground squirrels to bust. We're going to get Mason on video. Let's see what the kid can do. If you're not familiar, the 30 Americana is a bottle marauder build. It has a Benjamin Armada breech with Picatinny rail. It has a 4500 PSI carbon fiber bottle. It has a regulator that is rigged at 2300 PSI. It has parts from Hill air guns as well as New England air guns. It also has a Cothran valve and other custom trick parts. This gun can go anywhere from 80 foot pounds up to over 100 foot pounds. Right now it is shooting the JSB Hades 30 caliber at about 930 feet per second. If you're not familiar with these pellets, you need to buy some. That is a special hollow point. They're awesome. Okay guys, we out here with Mason. Today is his day. He has the Americana. I reworked it, the valve, new regulator new scope we're back in business and today we're going to be shooting the JSB Hades 30 caliber and we are already spotting ground squirrels here is a small group of about 12 not all are in the video screen but this is what I just mentioned we are already spotting ground squirrels and look at the devastation along that service road more on that later we you aiming? put it right in his chest Go ahead. Ooh. Thanks, slow down. And that guy is 50 yards. Go ahead. I'll stick with one at a time. Go ahead. Which one? I can't. The one right above the one you kill. Nice hit. He's sitting right there. Nice hit, man. That one. Now aim. So use your the mill the little half hash mark to the left of the crosshair. Put that on it. There it is. I'm gonna compensate. You see the one bottle? Yep. I'm getting the one at the bottom. Hold on. Go for it. I can? Which? The one at the bottom. Go ahead. There it is. I hit him? Yeah, he did. Oh. <laughs> did you hit him? Look at the one to the right. Oh. Take your time, buddy. Don't rush him. You see him? Oh, okay, them. Where did other one go? Hold on. He went to your left. I can't out that hole. Mason, what do you think about the the Americana now that it's been retuned? Uh, I love it, and I just love it. It's, yeah. it's extremely right. accurate. All right. Back to the slam. Sitting out of the hole? Yeah. Right on it. Oh! 13. <laughs> you see him? Go get on it. Huh? Here you go. I think you got him, buddy. I think that was a hit. Do you think that was a hit? Yep, there he is, flopping out of the hole. Done. Guys, Mason is knocking him out. 
I think we're up to about 16 right now, and he's putting a hurting on him. That 30 Americana, TJ Barrel, one and 26 inch twist, the 44.7 grain JSB Hades, they're putting in work. Mm -hmm. Go, 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 go. Hold on, wait till they get lined up perfect. That one is big, right through the shoulder on the big one. Oh, just over him. There it is, there it is. You see him? Uh-huh. Hit him again. There it is. Dude. <laughs> 17. He's like under that house window. Right. Get him. Oh, nice. You rolled him in a hole. See, look, look. Finish him off. See him? He, I can't really hit him. I know. Oh, I'll give a distance. Stay on him. Right at 60. That's okay. it? Yep. Ready? Yep. Oh! Right in the chest. Can I go? Yep. Oh. <laughs> Not the group of three. The one you just shot at to the right of that pole. Yeah. Shoot him, hit him. Nope, still low. You using the mill dot? Mm -hmm. Go mill and a half. There it is. There you are done. Come on. Hold on. Uh, is he sticking out of the hole? Oh, he's in the left side of the hole. Or left of the hole. Go for it. There it is. Nailed him. Yep. 23? Which mill dot? Uh, first doctor. Yeah. Is it clear? Mm hmm. Go over it. Oh, oh, oh. Dude, that was straight head. <laughs> Mason just made an incredible headshot. He pulled one at 32 yards out of the hole <laughs> and you guys saw it on the HD that was nice that was a good shot halfway up the hill mm -hmm. go I want to kill the one behind go ahead oh, there it is you got it get the other one. Oh, you hit that one already get the one crawling oh. damn it see him Oh, he's done. There you go. Which other one go? Which mill that? Uh, crossing, I think. Oh, upper. Can I come in? Yep. Smoke them. Smoke them. Smoke them. Oh, he dead. Yeah. Uh, upper mill that. Go. Uh, Did you hit it? Pretty sure I did. Yep, you did. I see him wagging. There you go. Got him. All right, guys. Here we are at the last shot, which did not get captured on film, but I think you guys get the point. Up next, and lastly, is not a recovery video, but I'm going to turn this into an educational segment. Each one of these holes that you're looking at belongs to a ground squirrel. This area that we're shooting in is roughly 75 yards wide by maybe 250 to 300 yards long. The entire perimeter of this watering hole or the bank of the watering hole looks like this. There are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of ground squirrels. This is a service road right above the top of this bank. You can't drive on it any longer because the holes go from one side of the service road to the other. And any vehicle was certainly probably bottom out. Uh, in other words, the tires will fall in a hole or a den and the truck will get stranded. So if you don't think what we're doing is of service to a farmer, this should a little bit better explain the damage that they cause. 
Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Click the subscribe and like button. Appreciate you.